Well, it's Monday about 2.45. We're getting ready to go. Well, we're not getting ready to go, but we are going to go to the bay about 4 o'clock. Tides low, I think, around 7. Update on the ring. You know, I told you it broke apart when I was cleaning it up. I found a guy on Facebook, and he finally got back to me yesterday. He lives in uh, somewhere in New Jersey now. And he said he lost it the same year they got it, 1997. So it's been out there in the bay since 1997, hiding. Finally come to light. And his parents live about 10 minutes from here. So I'm going to get up with them. He's going to get them to call me, and I'll take it back to them. And he said he'd be in town this weekend. He'd probably get it then. So that's pretty cool. He lost it. He thinks sailing. He was a Hobie cat. Had a Hobie cat back in the 90s, late 90s. And that was a big Hobie cat area at that particular time. They figured he must have came off as he was sailing with a Hobie cat. But he wasn't sure. He actually didn't have any idea where he lost it at. He was amazed that I had found it naturally. But anyway, <clears throat> I got some tidbit of information for you. In that box is something interesting. These are mile phones, you know, the ones made in the UK. They call them surf phones. Well, I love them, but the distance inside to my ears is always, I hated them after an hour. And after two hours, I was ready to cut my head off just so they wouldn't be on my ears. But anyway, I've lived with them a long time. So finally yesterday, I had an extra pair of gel uh, muffs laying around, you see. So I cemented them to the ones that were on the mile phones. So I got a lot of distance in there now where my ear can have freedom. Now I've used these gel phones, these gel pads for years. And the only drawback to them is, well, they have two drawbacks. One, the price is a little prohibitive. And the membrane that they cover the gel in is really soft. And if you get one little prick in it, <clears throat> it wants to kind of leak out, which is bad. <clears throat> so, you buy these. They call them cushion covers. This box is uh, five years old. I don't use that many in five years. I put them on my Black Widow Detective Pros. I don't have gels on them, but they, they got some little cracks along. These are old. So I put them on there. It's like a sock. It's a double-ended sock. You see, it's got a hole right there and a hole here. And you just slide it over your earphones. And you don't get all that rough, hard plastic. Hard, the plastic gets hard after years. Brittle. I've got them on my Excalibur phones. These are some phones similar to Miles that Beats Nut made for me. I don't know, five or six years ago. I got them on, I got them on there. I got gels on here. And you can see, you should be able to see a little bit of discoloration right there. That's where the gel is kind of seeped out a little bit, you see. But they work fine. You can't tell it. Let's see if I got them on anything else in here. I think that's all I got them on, those three pair. I mean two pair. But I'm going to put them on here in just a few minutes. Cushion covers, 50 pair, very inexpensive. I don't remember because I had them so long, I forgot how much they cost. Well, it's Monday about 2.45. We're getting ready to go, well, we're not getting ready to go, but we are going to go to the bay about 4 o'clock. Tides low, I think, around 7. Update on the ring, you know, I told you it broke apart when I was cleaning it up. I found a guy on Facebook, and he finally got back to me yesterday. He lives in uh, somewhere in New Jersey now. And he said he lost it the same year they got it, 1997. So it's been out there in the bay since 1997, hiding. Finally come to light. And his parents live about 10 minutes from here. So I'm going to get up with them. He's going to get them to call me, and I'll take it back to them. And he said he'd be in town this weekend. He'd probably get it then. So that's pretty cool. He lost it. He thinks sailing. He was a Hobie cat. Had a Hobie cat back in the 90s, late 90s. 
and that was a big Hobie cat area in that particular time. They figured it must have came off as he was sailing with a Hobie cat, but he wasn't sure. He actually didn't have any idea where he lost it at. He was amazed that I had found it naturally. Anyway, <clears throat> I got some tidbit of information for you. In that box is something interesting. These are mile phones, you know, the ones made in the UK. They call them surf phones. Well, I love them, but the distance inside to my ears is always, I hated them after an hour. And after two hours, I was ready to cut my head off just so they wouldn't be on my ears. But anyway, I've lived with them a long time. So finally yesterday, I had an extra pair of gel uh, muffs laying around, you see. So I cemented them to the ones that were on the mile phones. So I got a lot of distance in there now where my ear can have freedom. Now I've used these gel phones, these gel pads for years. And the only drawback to them is, well, they have two drawbacks. One, the price is a little prohibitive. And the membrane that they cover the gel in is really soft. And if you get one little prick in it, <clears throat> it wants to kind of leak out, which is bad. <clears throat> so, you buy these. They call them cushion covers. This box is uh, five years old. I don't use that many in five years. I put them on my Black Widow Detector Pros. I don't have gels on them, but they, they got some little cracks along. These are old. So I put them on there. It's like a sock. It's a double-ended sock. You see, it's got a hole right there and a hole over here. And you just slide it over your earphones. And you don't get all that rough, hard plastic. Hard, the plastic gets hard after years. Brittle. I've got them on my Excalibur phones. These are some phones similar to Miles that Beach Nut made for me, I don't know, five or six years ago. I got them on, I got them on that. I got gels on here. And you can see, you should be able to see a little bit of discoloration right there. That's where the gel is kind of seeped out a little bit, you see. But they work fine. You can't tell it. Let's see if I got them on anything else in here. I think that's all I got them on, those three pair. I mean two pair. But I'm going to put them on here in just a few minutes. Cushion covers, 50 pair. Very inexpensive. I don't remember because I had them so long I forgot how much they cost. <coughs> you see that's what they look like. Like a sock at both ends open. You just stretch them out. Put them over your earphones. <coughs> you see, that's what they look like. Like a sock at both ends open. You just stretch them out. Put them over your earphones. What was the guy's mother, believe it or not? She wants me to bring it by her house at 3.30 today. He's going to be in town this weekend, so he's going to pick it up from her. And we're back to these things. Let me get them stretched out and stuck on, but you understand how they work. You know, big, it's not rocket science. It's just nice. Mm -hmm. Was the guy's mother, believe it or not. She wants me to bring it by her house at 3.30 today. He's going to be in town this weekend, so he's going to pick it up from her. And we're back to these things. Let me get them stretched out and stuck on, but you understand how they work. You know, big, it's not rocket science. It's just nice. Mm -hmm. This is where the fellow's mother and father live. I'm getting ready to drop it off right now. <clears throat> Stand by. Well, we're here. See how it goes. Target number one. We got a three, five, and a seven. I don't know if it knows where it wants to be. One of those three numbers. We might have it. Looks like a big chunk of aluminum. Well, 
I can tell you one thing. <clears throat> the nuts are getting bigger. Look at that one. Hey, Denny. Oh. Whoa. The first target I got was a little teeny one over there. Whoa. Now we got a 16. It's jumping around with, with a sand with a one screw ball on it. Might be one of our buddies. It's called the bottle cap. Stand by a minute until I get this piece of whatever it is out of the sand. Little gray matter. We got a solid 10. Jumps to 11. Solid 10 or 11. I hear it. it sounds. It feels big in my scoop. I can't tell what it is though. It's an irony looking thing. I don't know what that is. I just know it sounded good. It looks like an air cartridge out of a pellet gun or something like that. Yep, that's what it is. Right there. What kind of numbers do you give you? What kind of numbers do you give you? What kind of numbers you get? 18. 18? Let's see if you get an 18. Yeah, but it's big. What is it? It's, it's deep? It comes way over here. No, that's probably a pipe or uh, one of those uh, steel rods. Jump. <coughs> If you put it in all metals mode, you can hear the iron. Check it out. Put it in all metals mode, you hear it. So it's probably one of those. Um, those yeah, fence posts. Oh, yeah. We got a low two. <coughs> I think it's still in the hole. What's a low two? No, oh, maybe not. That's probably it right there. I'm on the outside. Denny's kind of in the middle. Kevin's on the inside. As we head west. Nice, nice day. No waves. I like it. Not a solid 13, but I think it's a big piece of iron or something. I can't even get my scoop. <coughs> I can feel it with my cold. I don't know why it would ring up in 13, though. <laughs> if I can find the end of it. Yeah, maybe a beach house where we can get out of here. Stand by a minute. Half a cinder block. I don't think that's uh, what I hit. I'm going to leave my scoop right here and take this up to the shoreline. Come back. Hey.
Hey, come here. See what that is right there? What is it? 17, see what it is. What? How much sensitivity you got? We turned it down. Um, Whatever it was, it was good. Hit that one right there. Turn it down one more time. One more. One more. One more. Okay. Now hit the, that right. Now if you go home, you can, I tried to work this wet sand all the way home. Okay. You find it again? This might be in here. Yeah, that's it. Sure. Oh, you can have it. Great matter. Okay, it's still here, whatever it was. That cinder block was just in the way. We got it now. Oh, the first one of the day. Look. Oh, that's a fat band there, boy. That looks like 18 to me. It's got enough marks in it, but I can't see them. Uh, maybe I can. These are all this little weak. Looks like 14K. <clears throat> yep. 14K. And a star. Yeah, it's got a lot of little marks inside of it. This, that's something I've got to upside down. Best friend, 10, 8, 10, 0, 2. Ooh. Right there. No shit. Perfect fit, too. Look, perfect fit. <laughs> Got a 9. A 9 here. I'm working in and out. <coughs> oh, a nice nine. We got a nice nine here. I like it. Graphite aluminum. Oh, we got a, <clears throat> a nice seven and an eight here. <clears throat> sensitivity at thirteen. Y'all wanted to see what the sensitivity was. I don't like it. Aluminium. <coughs> That's like Cleopatra on a barge. 
That's a pretty good deal right there. Can't beat that with a stick. <clears throat> coming back. I don't know where he's been, but he's coming back. <clears throat> Damn. Gray matter. Yeah, I got plenty of gray matter too. I'm not kidding you. Gray matter. I just dug two right? coming in here. I even got I got a uh Barbara Fisher grill. Oh yeah, you have. I'll be down. There's stuff plenty of stuff here, isn't it? Oh, this is a lot of heavy stuff. Yeah. I, I can't get on the yellow any. <laughs> there's gotta be more in there. Well we dug enough nineteen and twenties to sink my truck in lead. Now I got a 12. Something different. At least I hope it is. Yep, it is. It is different. A dang old bottle cap. Number three, I think. God. It jumps around bad. Might be another cap. <clears throat> Started out as a 12. Now it's 18, see it? <clears throat> well, it sure sounds good, I can tell you that. There are a lot of rocks in here, it's hard to get the targets out. Wait, wait, no. Now it's back to 15. <clears throat> Whatever it is, we have captured it. That's mud. A lot of mud in here. This looks like El Crapo. Aluminum pipe or something. Isn't it nice? No waves crashing. No children hollering and screaming. Not much candy, but a little bit. <clears throat> Sun is setting, but it's got a long ways to go yet. Uh-oh. False along. We got our first 25, 26. Sensitivity at 13, you see it? Stand by, let's see what it is. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what do you, I don't get to see you here. What are you guys searching for? Anything. <coughs> Like coins or something? Coins, yeah. Watches, sunglasses, you find all kinds of stuff here. Sinkers, I got more sinkers than I can hardly tote. You got more what? Lead fishing sinkers. Fishing sinkers? Oh. Yeah. So it's, I guess you do a good service. You clean the bay. You make a little money on the side? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And a penny. And a penny. So you pick up a little change and you just enjoy doing it, huh? Is there anything dangerous in the bottom there? Huh? Anything dangerous you find? Just uh, pieces of metal and wire and stuff like that. Okay. I found a big uh, cinder block and a big piece of iron I threw in that trash can about an hour ago. Good. Well, that's good. So you guys are helping clean the bay. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Chesapeake Bay Foundation be proud of you, right? How far have <laughs> you been sailing today? Uh, right, uh, this, uh, not that far, a couple miles. I mean, not even a mile, probably half a mile each way. You'll be in my video tonight. Oh, okay, good. What's, your, what's the online? You've been paddling today. Now we got an interest in 1350. Sensitivity still at 13. Well, sounds like we got whatever it is. 
So baby fishing sinker. Baby one. Nice nine and ten. <clears throat> now it's right down. Sensitivity 13. Let's see what it is. 27. Thirteen. This is eight inches deep. Going to the meter. Still hollering at 25. Three scoops. Four scoops. Says it's still six inches deep. I don't believe that. I do believe this might be iron now, though. I mean, it's not making any iron sound. <clears throat> but it sounds so good to be so deep. I put it all metals, it still sounds great. Whatever it is, I think it's just a piece of big junk. Stand by till I get it out. We got a nine. I don't see anything. Let's go back and look around into the hole. Maybe we missed it. Stand by. Yeah, <clears throat> that's two we missed it. We missed today. That one we were digging on with twelve scoops. I quit digging. <clears throat> Still reading twenty-five. <clears throat> I don't know what else. that like I said that was a nine but I never found it five scoops deep key first key of the day <clears throat> all right there it is the roundup Beach one, sensitivity 13.
I know a lot of you are going to say, 13, 13, that's crazy. Well, I can't help it. This machine is different than most machines we've ever used. At least that's the way I'm looking at it. If it finds all this at 13, deep sinkers, that thing was 12 scoops deep. I don't remember how many scoops that was. A lot of the sinkers were seven and eight scoops deep. And it runs so smooth at 13, it's hard to believe the difference between 16 and 13. <clears throat> now keep in mind that this is in the water. Cool, submerged, waist to ankle deep. Some of the guys tell me that they, when they get up on the sand, they move, they crank it up three digits to around 16. But I can tell you one thing, in the water at 13, you see the results. You saw the results Saturday. This is a 10.3 grams, 14K. That's a stainless steel at <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's a big ass nut, I tell you that. I think I showed you that's the first one I dug. A little while later I dug this baby. Unbelievable. Mumbles man. We're pretty close on gray matter, I can tell you. <clears throat> you see his nut in a minute. Okay. I hope to go back tomorrow, but we may go if I can get up, we're gonna try to go to Nada for low tide in the morning around seven. But that's going to be tough for me to get up, but I'm going to try it. I don't feel very good anyway, you know. But that's the way life is sometimes. Okay, I'll get back to y'all. Good luck to everybody. Oh, let me see. You want to see the 10 point? I got a, I got a picture of it, but let's see. It's on grams. Were you glad you turn off? I guess it was off. Zero. 10.3 grams. Grams. This is a nice fat ticket. Okay. Stand by for the rest of this stuff. Oh man, for some reason I got a jumbo picture. Hold on a minute. That's a mumbles man's nut from yesterday. He went on the bay yesterday in the morning. Just some blingy stuff and, you know, what you see there. There's what he found today. He did find two nice old boat nails. You see them? Brass boat spikes, we call them. Gray matter. Fishing reel. We both got a car. He got another carabiner. And he beat me on bottle caps. Okay. <coughs> I hope to see you someplace again tomorrow. Oh wait a minute. I may have a I may have another picture for you. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. This is the uh, fellow's ring I found uh, Saturday. That's his father. I took it back to him today. It's in the first part of the video. He uh, he's going to he's going to visit his son in New Jersey this weekend. He's going to take it to it. <clears throat>